God doesn't heal people by taking them to heaven. We don't need healing in heaven because there is no sickness there. We need healing here. Hello, my name is Dustin Barker. Welcome back. I'm here to help you find out who God is and who God says you are. I'm also the author of Hello, God Says My Name Is. If you're new here, subscribe below so you never miss another video. People all over the planet are asking questions like, does God still heal? Will God heal me? And I wanna tell you, yes, God still heals and God wants to heal you. Let's get right into it. At the end of Exodus 15, 26, God says, for I am the Lord who heals you. The first thing I wanna point out is is, yes, this is in the Old Testament, and this was a promise to Israel. But here's why it is still relevant. Hebrews 8, 6 says that today in Jesus, we have a new and better covenant, and it is based on better promises. If God was the Lord who healed them in the old covenant, how much more can we believe him to be our healer in the new and better covenant? Here's the thing I wanna point out. Exodus 15, 26 is known by many people as the place where God described himself as Jehovah Rapha. This is one of those eternal names of God, and it means the Lord who heals you, or in other words, the Lord your healer. In this verse, God was describing himself and basically saying, this is who I am. I am your healer. So my question to people that think that God no longer heals is, when did this change? Or in other words, when did God change? Well, to answer that, let's read Malachi 3, 6, which says, for I am the Lord, I do not change. Well, there's your answer, God does not change. He was the Lord who heals back then, and he is still the Lord who heals today. As humans, we often try to come up with answers for things that happen with our rational mind, especially when we don't understand. We all know someone who didn't get healed on the earth, so sometimes we say things like, well, Sometimes God doesn't heal. Sorry, but Exodus 15, 26 does not say that I am the Lord who heals you. Sometimes. We cannot determine the will or character of God based on what happens to people on earth. For example, we all know it's the will of God for all men to be saved, but guess what? Not all men are gonna be saved. You cannot look at the fact that all people aren't saved and say, well, I guess God doesn't wanna save everyone. Another example of how we sometimes try to explain things that we don't understand is when we say things like, well, God will heal them here or in heaven. Well, what Bible verse are they quoting? I cannot find one Bible verse where God is referring to healing and he is talking about heaven. Are we completely whole in heaven? Yes, absolutely. But when people die, their body stays here. We don't need healing in heaven because there is no sickness there. We need healing here. God doesn't heal people by taking them to heaven. Now we all know people that go to heaven early. Don't blame it on God because humans aren't perfect. We don't know everything and we don't do everything right. Let the Bible speak for itself. Let God's word speak for itself. Don't look at other people. Don't go by what other people think. Where is it in the Bible? We determine the will of God based on the word of God, not based on experiences. Meaning, we determine what God wants by this your Bible, not by what we see happening to others or even to ourselves. My Bible says in Psalm 103, verses two and three, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. How many of your diseases? All of them. God hasn't changed. He is still the healer. He still wants to heal you. When you ask God for healing, are you asking and expecting or are you asking and waiting to see if it happens? There is a difference between asking and expecting and asking to see if it happens. For example, when I ask my wife to please grab me a glass of water, I am fully expecting it to happen. I'm not asking and then waiting nervously to see if it happens. I have full confidence it's coming. I expect it because I know her character. Thank you, honey. This is how it should be with God. When you ask for healing, you don't ask to see, well, is God gonna heal me? Or I guess I'll ask and see if he wants to. No, you ask with full expectation, full confidence that he will and he wants to do this. I don't expect God to heal me because I'm good. I expect it because he is good. First John 5, 14 through 15 says this, this is the confidence that we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we have asked of him. This is our confidence, not begging, crawling, whining. If we ask anything according to his will, well, what is his will? Remember, I am the Lord who heals you. He heals 
all your diseases. Now we know he hears us because we have asked his will in his word. And since we know he heard us, we know that we have what we have asked for. This is not based on feelings. This is based completely on God said it, I believe it, I have it, and I'm not moved by how it looks or feels. Too many people are asking God to see if it's his will for them to be healed rather than coming boldly to the throne of grace and laying hold of what Jesus wants them to have. Let me say this again. I don't expect God to heal me because I'm good. I expect it because I know he's good. Let me end with these final thoughts for you. In Mark 5, there was a woman with an issue of blood. She came to Jesus, touched his garment, and she was healed. I wanna ask you a question. Did she ask? The answer is no. This woman came boldly to Jesus and took her healing. She didn't even ask. And you can come boldly to God and take healing. What do I mean by that? If I offer you a $100 bill, you can either sit there and wait for it to leap out of my hand, or you can take it. Now, does it make it wrong of you to take it? No, because I offered it. In the same way, you can take or receive from God because he is freely offering it. My friend, thank you so much for joining us for another video. I really hope that this challenged you and got you thinking. I wanna help you see how much God loves you and how much he wants you to come boldly to him, expecting good from him. Please do me a favor, share this with someone, help us get the word out on God's goodness, then hit that thumbs up somewhere down here, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.